hey guys welcome to my very first video today i will be making a diy dollar tree necklace the necklace is made from wooden beads that i found at the dollar store here's a list of all the items that you'll need to make this beautiful necklace let's get started so the findings that I'm using, I got from a jewelry making kit that I ordered on Amazon. The wire also came in that kit. So I'll leave a link in the description below. So what I'm doing right now is sorting my beads in the order that I want them to be on my necklace because that makes it easier for me when in case I want to change anything before I put it on the wire. So I finished sorting out my beads for my first two layers and I'm about to put them on the wire but already you can tell how beautiful that's gonna be. Look at that. Aww. <laughs> Is it just me or isn't beading just so therapeutic? Like I'm having so much fun just making this right now.
okay so i got the first two layers done and all i gotta do now is to put them together and make it into one so you can see it becomes one necklace and you can already tell how beautiful it's gonna look Okay, so before I started to combine my necklace, I made sure that both wires are the same length. When I put them together and put the beads on, I had to make sure that they were coming up to the same, which is why you get two different lengths. I had one for 26 inches and the top layer was 24 inches. So I had like that two inch gap between them. And look at yes see that's what you want that dip and that space between them oh and the tape <laughs> the tape helps to keep it from slipping off while you're trying to do one side at a time now so I'm gonna layer my beads on now one side at a time and the tape helps because I don't have one of those professional stuff to do it and just like I did in the beginning I decided to just sort my beads out that in the order that I'm gonna put it so that makes it easier for me Okay, so now all my beads are on and it's time to put the finishing touch on the necklace and just close it out. Yes, as you can see, I already did that side off camera and so I'll show you how to do the other side. Okay, so this chain that I'm about to put on this end, I made from open jump rings. I just attached like all those jump rings together to make one length chain so I could put the, the closing jump ring and the extender chain on it. So what I'm doing here, I made a chain with the open jump rings and attached the lobster clasp to the end of it so that when I'm finished, I could just make the other loop and attach it to the end and my necklace would be finished. 
Look at how beautiful that is. So this part right here is the loop. It's super tricky because you have to put the the metal bead on the the end on both. Make sure it goes over both wire and then push it back through it and make that loop. Then I have to use my pliers to like get it tightened and then use the flat nose pliers and like squish the bead and then that will keep it in place and keep that loop firm yeah. Okay guys, so don't forget that after you cut the wire at the end and secured your loop, you have to push those loose ends of the wire back into that last bead so as to prevent your skin from getting scraped or anything. Okay, so now my necklace is finally finished and look at that it's so beautiful honestly I love it yes I really really like that it turned out really good I must say Okay, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I appreciate all your support. Just stay tuned to my channel if you want to see more videos. And if you want to see how I made this display necklace stand, just keep watching and stay tuned. And I'll have a video coming up with that. So, bye. guys thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe and join us again for more inspiration creativity and relaxation